Exercise 6. On May 11th, your company accepts delivery of $24,500 of merchandise it purchases for resale from Troy Corporation. With the merchandise is an invoice dated May 11th with terms of 310 net 90, FOB shipping point. The goods cost Troy $16,415. When the goods are delivered, York pays $520 to express shipping for delivery charges on the merchandise. On May 12th, York returns $2,080 of goods to Troy, who receives them one day later and restores them to inventory. The returned goods had cost Troy $1,394. On May 20th, York mails a check to Troy Corporation for the amount owed. Troy receives it the following day. Both York and Troy use a perpetual inventory system, and were asked first to prepare journal entries that York would record for these transactions. Beginning on May 11th, they purchased $24,500 of merchandise. The journal entry is a debit to merchandise inventory and a credit to accounts payable. The goods were shipped FOB shipping point, which means ownership and the responsibility for freight transferred to York as soon as they were shipped. So it is York's responsibility to absorb the $520 freight cost. The journal entry for the freight is also a debit to merchandise inventory as purchasing these goods FOB shipping point made them more expensive, and we credit cash. On May 12th, York returns $2,080 of goods to Troy. This journal entry is the reverse of the journal entry from May 11th. We debit accounts payable, decreasing the amount owed, and credit merchandise inventory, reducing the value of the asset. On May 20th, York writes a check to Troy for the amount owed. The balance owed at this point is 22420 the original invoice of $24,500 less the $2,080 of returned goods. Debit accounts payable for $22,420. Because York is paying within the discount period, they're able to reduce the cost of the inventory by 3% of $22,420, $673. And they write a check for 97% of 22420 $21,747. Requirement 2 asks us to prepare the journal entries the Troy Corporation would record for these same transactions. On May 11th, they record the sale. Debit accounts receivable, 24500 and credit sales revenue. Since they're using a perpetual inventory system, simultaneously they record the cost of the sale. Debit the expense account, cost of goods sold, 16415 and credit merchandise inventory. Troy Corporation does not record a journal entry for the freight, as the freight was entirely York's responsibility. On May 13th, they received the goods back from the York Corporation. They debit sales returns and allowances, the contra revenue account, for 2080, the retail price, and credit accounts receivable. And since the goods are restored to the inventory, debit merchandise inventory for the cost of the units returned, 1394 and reduce the expense account by crediting cost of goods sold. On May 21st, they received the check from the York Company, debiting cash for $21,747, 97% of the receivable of $22,420. The amount of the discount, $673, is debited to sales discounts, the contra revenue account, and credit accounts receivable for the balance owed by York, $22,420.